What we're going to do in uh, Alexa 8 is exactly what we did in uh, CAX 8. Uh, weirdly, I didn't mean for them to parallel each other, but it turns out they do. And what that is, is first of all add a list uh, view to panel 2 and then create column headers for that list view. So we go over to the toolbox and drag a list view over to uh, panel 2. And then we press the uh, common task pop-up and select dock and parent in order for it to totally fill the uh, panel. And now we want to add the column headers in CAX 8. We added the column headers by using the uh, column header objects directly and adding them to the collection. Uh, this time what we want to do is use the column header collection editor. We'll first give a meaningful name to the list view of LSV list detail and then go down to the uh, columns uh, property and bring up the uh, column header collection editor and in order to add column headers we press the add button and it doesn't really matter that the name of the the column header is column header one because we, we're not really doing that. we are dealing with the text uh, which is what's displayed and we want the first one to be title and give it a width of uh, about 200 because it's probably going to be our biggest field. We're really just ballparking these widths. Uh, then press the add to get the next uh, column header. Give this one a title of uh, author. And actually made a mistake and just said Otho. Sounds like a Superman villain. And gave it a width of 100. Add the next column. Doesn't matter if you make mistakes like that because you can always go back to the column header, column header, and change things. In fact, we're going to have to go back and change width a lot based on things like the column header is not showing. The third column is genre. And I gave that a width of 120 initially. <coughs> and the next column is, uh, actually, I'm not sure. Oh, size. Size in this case is the number of virtual cassettes or virtual CDs that make up the audiobook. And I initially made size 20. And it turned out that was too small even to show the name size in the, the column header. <coughs> so that's one I definitely had to adjust. And I made the same mistake with the next column, red, which will probably just be yes or no or Y or N or something. So 20 would fit the data but not the column header. Red doesn't display all the way. And then the last column is location which actually has taken on a different meaning over the years for audiobook. It used to be an XY position cassettes in a whole stack of cassette boxes and now it's basically a location of uh, CDs within cylinders of CDs. So I click away to, to get out of the editor and now we want to change the view to be details because just as in CAX8 we're, we're always showing a detail view in this panel. It's the nature of the program. If I go up and compile and run this we're going to discover that it actually doesn't look that good. The size and the red are just an S and an R. In fact I don't even think all of the R shows, just about 90% of the R. So we definitely need to adjust columns and the author, as I pointed out, isn't that that column's being cut so that we, I didn't type in the R. 
So I'll go back in the column header collection editor and make those changes and the much adjustment in pause mode and it's starting to look pretty good. And another thing we had to adjust is the size of the window itself and the size of the panel within the window. And as you can see there's way too much room in the tree view. So we also need to adjust that so the tree view is smaller and, and more of the panel size is developed to the, the is devoted to the left or the right panel which has the details. And we'll probably have to continue to make adjustments like that uh, when we actually start to display the data. Well, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson and focus and learn a lot until I see you next lesson in Alexa 9.